people often say that nothing can prepare you for becoming a parent that's true in a lot of ways but there's one area of parenthood you can definitely prepare for and that's cost the physical and emotional investment of adding a new member to a family can be challenging and rewarding at the same time however raising a child is also a major financial obligation now it may be emotionally jarring to compare the cost of raising a child with the joy of having to raise one but it is also very imperative to know and plan for such costs in a recent report it has been revealed that a person is likely to spend over a crore to raise a child to be very precise it would cost rupees 1.5 crore to bring up a child from the day it is conceived to the time it takes off on its own given the cost of raising a child in current times the old saying bacche do hi acche which translates to only two kids are good sounds financially sensible in fact the saying is also adopted by the government as they plan to bring the two child policy to keep a check on the population while some parents cover this financial journey with ease others struggle to meet the child's needs be it their higher education marriage or just buying them gadgets organizing a party etc though it helps to have high income to save for all the kids needs and goals and still provide a comfortable lifestyle it may not always be possible to have a high salary or surplus you could also start saving late or use wrong investments to invest for goals either ways it may result in shortage of funds this is the reason why it is important to start planning for your ch- children from the time you decide to begin a family you should start saving even before the child is born starting early is the right time to start saving for your children to so that you build a good corpus for their college higher education and marriage i remind you when you start saving you also need to take into consideration inflation your entire planning can also go haywire if you make wrong assumptions and calculations about the amount you would require to bring up your child and when it comes to the cost of raising a child here's a breakdown that we provide to you so that you get a fair understanding of how much of amount of the money you would require to bring up your child so this is basically categorized into six stages starting from 9 months of pregnancy then 0 to 2 years then 3 to 5 years 6 to 12 years then 13 to 18 years and then finally the higher education to post graduation of your child between 19 to 24 years now talking about the first stage which is pregnancy so now when we talk about pregnancy the cost includes right from prenatal care up to delivery the entire 9 months of pregnancy can cost you a hefty amount of rupees 2 lakh to 3 lakhs including the test you are required to take and whether you have normal or cesarean section delivery now this is the amount again that will depend on where you live such as where you whether you live in metro city or tier 2 or tier 3 so now let's break down this stage further and understand what are the cost involved so the very first one is healthcare so this will include the money you will pay to the doctor and for consultations which can range between 500 to 2000 then medical tests costing 1500 to 2000 and also ultrasound tests that you that will cost you rupees 1000 so these are the costs that you are likely to bear and this will continue during the trimester the next is mother's expense besides medication and the maternal wear the expectant mother is likely to spend on massage exercise or yoga as well however this cost is optional the next one is delivery or hospitalization so the cost of delivery in any hospital ranges anywhere between 50000 to rupees 2 lakhs and it requires a stay of 2 to 3 days depending on the type of delivery the next one is house renovation or new house on rent so if you are in a small rented house and you want to shift to a new bigger house then you could shell out anywhere between rupees 3000 to 10000 more depending on the locality If you are in your own home and you want to renovate then it might require you to shell about rupees 20000 but it will be a one time investment Now talking about the second stage where your child will be anywhere between 0 to 2 years of age This again will be divided into first is your health care So most vaccinations are done in the first 2 years and it will require frequent doctors visits which can cost you anywhere between rupees 500 to 1500 The next one is you are also likely to spend on food Breast feeding is usually supplemented with baby formula milk for up to a year uh, after which the baby starts taking soft food at home. Now if we consider 400 grams of formula milk it can cost you up to rupees 360 each for the first year and regular food along with the food substitute at rupees 650 each in the second year. The next expense that you're likely to take or bear is clothes. 
The newborn needs a lot of change of clothes and outgrows them at a fast pace. Depending on your budget, you can also reduce this cost. The next one is accessories and toys. So you will also be spending a major chunk of your money in buying toys. Besides toys, you'll also buy several other items such as stroller, walker, car seat, etc. The next one is the diapers. You can also add the cost of diapers considering at least four to five diapers in a day for two years. The next one is child functions or parties. Most families in India believe in conducting pujas for the child. So besides the first birthday party, there are religious functions like name and mundan ceremonies in the first two years conducted. Birthday parties can cost you anywhere between 10,000 to 20,000 depending on whether you have them at home or outside and other functions can cost you over rupees 25,000. The next one is you are also likely to spend on daycare or nanny. So this is one of the biggest expenses if both the spouses are working. A daycare facility can cost more than rupees 5,000 a month and a full-time nanny will cost anywhere between 10,000 to 12,000 a month. And the last one is health insurance. So if you go with a floater plan of rupees 10 lakh, then it would cost you rupees 16,000 a year. After including the child in the plan, when he or she become, turns one year, then you would pay rupees 21,000 a year, which is rupees 5,100 more. Moving on, we'll now talk about the stage 3, wherein your child is anywhere between 3 to 5 years and here the school cost will rise. So education expenses starts from 2 or 3 years onwards as children start going to playway school or preschool and this forms a large chunk of expenses. Other costs like those in on healthcare, diapers, baby food and accessories come down. So as you reach the third stage where the child is between 3 to 5 years of age, then you are likely to bear the cost of healthcare, then food. Now here the food cost will increase somewhat as the growing child will need a lot of nutrition. The next you will also be bearing the cost of clothes. So this cost can remain about the same. It's advisable not to spend too much on clothes as the child will outgrow them fast. Next you will also be spending on accessories and toys. So this cost will somewhat come down but accessories like walkers etc you will still have to bear. The next one is part child parties. So birthday parties will continue and you will also you will also likely to spend more on gifts for other kids parties. So we'll consider anywhere between 10,000 rupees a year that you're likely to spend. The next is you're also likely to spend on daycare or nanny. So this cost will also remain static as you continue to need the support or at this stage. Next is education or preschool. So this single expense introduced in two to three years onwards, it contains a huge amount. The admission and tuition fees for preschools can range anywhere between 40,000 to rupees 1 lakh a year. This does not include any other cost related to the school. The next one is transportation. So this will include the cost of school bus, private transportation, anywhere between 3,000 we can take in a month. You're also likely to spend on books, uniforms, shoes, projects, and extracurriculum activities, as well as for the trips that the school will charge separately for. Moving on, we'll talk about the fourth stage, wherein your child is anywhere between six to 12 years. So let's understand what are the other areas that you're likely to spend at this stage. So the very first one is food. So besides regular meals, the child will now want to eat out and have fast food like burgers, pizzas, soft drinks, chocolates and ice creams, etc. So we can take a rough estimation of rupees 1200 that you're likely to bear per month. The next one is you'll also be spending on clothes. So you can consider an average spend of rupees 10,000 a year, which should be bought in a limited manner given the fact that child's growth is very fast. The next one is accessories or toys. So at this stage, you'll still be continuing or sp to spend on toys, bikes and accessories like shoes, belt, chips, bags, etc. As peer pressure begins, the child will want everything that his or her friends have and you will, have to, you're, you'll be forced to buy those things unwantedly. The next one is entertainment or parties. So kids' birthday parties will pick up force at this stage and increasing in costs as gifts, return gifts, costumes and food costs will be more. The next one is education. So this is again one of the most expensive spent categories with schools charging an average of rupees 1 lakh a year as fees besides other charges. You can, also, you can consider this cost up to rupees 1.2 lakh in a year. The next one is transportation. So this will inc again include your school bus fees, books, uniform and other activities which is related to school. You can consider rupees 6,000 a year for books, uniforms and other school related activities. The next one is extracurriculum activities. This age will also see you a pickup 
tutors for your child and enroll them in extra curriculum activities whether it's tennis or swimming or music or dance classes etc so you can consider rupees 3000 a month for tuition and rupees 2000 a month for hobby classes for next 5 to 7 years considering that you are enrolling them at the age of 7 years and the next one is vacation so while you may not take a holiday every year even a short break of 3 to 5 days will cost you at least rupees 50000 a year here we have considered rupees 40000 in your year and the last one here is the health insurance so the insurance premium will rise with the parents age and it will go up around rupees 27000 a year for 10 lakh rupees including the child this will amount up to rupees 6500 more a year for 7 years it will be rupees 45500 moving on the next stage is fifth stage wherein your child will be anywhere between 13 to 18 years of age so the categories that you will be spending at this stage will include the first one is entertainment or gadgets this will be another surge due to the gadgets such as mobile phone laptop or pc etc you will have you have to consider anywhere between rupees 15000 for phone rupees 30000 for a laptop rupees again 30000 for video games and accessories also included is a bicycle purchase then eating out and parties the next is coaching classes or college applications so the rise in education cost will be in the form of tuition coaching classes and applying for colleges we have considered rupees 1 lakh as coaching fee and rupees 1.5 lakh for college applications career counseling and consultation this amount can rise if the child applies abroad for higher studies the next is you are also likely to spend on vacation so the holidays to taper off as the child becomes more involved in studies we have considered a vacation for three to four years so the last stage is the sixth stage wherein the education expenses will rise as as a child will be anywhere between 19 to 24 years so the expenses at this stage will depend on whether the child goes out or will study back in india if your child plans to study abroad then the cost will naturally shoot up on contrary if he or she studies in india then the cost is somewhat manageable it will be also it will also depend on the type of institution he or she gets into and the stream of education and the length of course so in this stage you're likely to spend again on clothes while food will be taken care at the hostel you will have to pay for clothes and other minor living expenses so at this stage everything in related to education and the living expenses will have to be borne by you so these are the six stages showing you the different costs that you're likely to bear while bringing up your child it is very important that you start planning for your child priorly also if you're someone who already has a child and he or she is very young it is very important that you start right away to teach them about financial management it is not at all wrong to teach our kids about the finances so for your in-depth knowledge we have developed an exclusive course on money and kids that's available only on our financial freedom app so hurry up and download this app either from play store or app store also before going do not forget to hit on the like button subscribe to our channel for more such financial content and also do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video thank you for watching indianmoney.com get wise break free